Peppa Pig? What? No! More like Cruddy Pig. Oh my gosh! This show stinks. This show involves Peppa and her family. And they just like to go on failure adventures together. Peppa Pig is the main character of the show. And guess what? She's just so stupid and just dumb. And um, her favorite hobby is to jump up and down in muddy puddles. What? How is that a hobby? Yes, I know pigs like mud and everything, but why? Why? And they and they wear boots when they're going out, jumping up in muddy puddles. That makes no sense at all. Like, I mean, pigs in real life, they just squeal and roll around in mud. But in this show, they have to wear boots? Come on. Come on, writers. That's a terrible, terrible plot. Terrible idea. Anyways, this is her brother named George. And guess what? He's such a crybaby. Let me tell you why. Because he, he cries in every single episode. And it's not funny. Why? Yeah, like I said, why? Because he does in every single episode. I mean, how would it be funny if it happens every single time? I mean, like, seriously, that's just annoying. Anyways, about George himself, he's, he's annoying himself, and he's just dumb too. And he likes to play with a toy called Mr. Mr. Dinosaur. What the heck? Is he trying, is that Mr. Dinosaur trying to parry parody Barney or something and in the episode um, I, in that episode where they have to go to a dentist George uses his dinosaur to um, get his teeth fixed that makes no flippin sense whatsoever anyways this is their mom named mommy pig and she's just also annoying I have nothing else to talk about and this is their dad named Daddy Pig. And he's also annoying. I mean, hold on, let me zoom up a little bit. And do you see how big his stomach is? He should really get some exercise. I mean, he did in the episode Fun Run, which I'll probably, which I'll get to that later. In the episode Fun Run, he tried, he just tried to um, exercise. Which, yeah, I appreciate it, but... You know, he needs to do more than that. Now let's talk about Fun Run for a little bit. In that episode, um, Daddy Pig wanted to uh, run as fast as he, uh, he wanted to run just to get money for the school. Okay? And um, in the drawing scene, he thought it was real. And he thought he finished. Ha! <laughs> that kind of made me laugh because he thought it was, uh, it was real. But no, it was just a flipping drawing. Or billboard or whatever and also um the characters were acting stupid in that episode because when there was a wasp back that came to eat his come for his ice lolly they thought he was he was ready to run again but no he was just running because there was a wasp behind the, behind him seriously why <sighs> my goodness the riders by the way, I have lots of stuff to talk about in this video. Sorry about that. Sorry if I forgot to say that in the beginning. But anyways, now we're going to talk about their friends. This is Peppa's all-time best friend named Susie Sheep. And she's just, she's also annoying. She's just an annoying friend, in my opinion. That goes the same with Danny Dog. He's also annoying. And something else about these um, animals or whatever. Um, every time when they talk, they say their own uh, animal sounds. Like, you know, sheep says, ah, 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 and dogs say, woof, and cat says, meow. Yeah, I know that, but they say it like, Every time they start uh, their own sentence, they just do that. I mean, seriously, that makes no sense at all. They should just talk, and then at the end, like, for example, um, this character, you could say, like, I'm doing great, Peppa. Woof, woof. Kind of like that. It just makes no sense at all. I don't know what the writers were thinking with, 
when making this show. Anyways, same with her other friend, Candy Candy Cat. I think that's her name. Yeah, Candy Cat. She's not even cute at all. And uh, now when she says meow, when she says meow, which I don't think she says it, but it kind of reminded me of Gary. Because you know Gary and Spongebob, he says meow. And it's actually more cuter than the stupid character. Anyways, her next friend, Pedro, Pedro, I think, yeah. He's also, um, very, um, dumb, stupid, and not to mention, very unorganized, and, you know, just very lazy. And the episode where, um, Peppa Pig and her friends were going on a field trip, he was late to school. I mean, seriously, he didn't, and he was sleeping in late. That seems like a go anime plot or something. But anyways, yeah, he was late to school, and I don't know if they were frustrated or they were happy he was late. I don't know, but dang, this this character is just so flippin' lazy. Okay, and their friend Emily Elephant, she's also annoying just like the other characters. Actually, all these characters seem annoying. And so is Zoe Zebra. She's all. She's another one of the characters who is annoying. It's like, dang, most of these characters in this stupid show are just so annoying. I don't know why. Seriously, I, like I said before, I don't know what the creators were thinking when making these characters so flippin' dumb. I mean, really. And this is her other friend named Freddy Fox, which. <laughs> I thought it was Freddy Fazbear, because, you know, um, you know, both names are Freddy, and, you know what, let, just ignore that, ignore that. Anyways, yeah, for some reason, this guy has a very good sense of smell, but I don't think he has a good smell at all, because, you know, I, I don't know why, but that, that's just what he is. He just has a sense of smell, period. Anyways. Now before you go ask now before you go asking, um, why haven't I go gone to the other characters' families? Cause you know, this is gonna have a lot of pictures, so I thought, hey, why not just go through one of the friends' family just because. And besides, this one's probably the most important. I'll tell you why. This is, um, Another one of Peppa's friends, Rebecca Rabbit, and this is her mother, um, Mommy Rabbit, I think. And and if you don't know already, this character has a bunch of jobs. And what I also don't get is that this character has a second copy. I mean, like seriously, when they when they first started the show, did it say like, oh, how about we just copy this character? And let the characters not even know. I mean, like, seriously, they're like making. They only have like two clones of this character. I don't know why they do that. Seriously. Anyways, this is um, Rebecca's brother named Richard Rabbit, and he is friends with George Pig for some reason. Sorry about that noise. Anyways, he is George's friend for some reason. Excuse me. Um, and he's pretty much the same like George because they both have a uh, toy dinosaur, they both cry, and they're both troublemakers. And I don't think a couple of, I don't think a few people out there think that George Pig or Richard Rabbit are both cute. But guess what? I don't think they're cute. I think they're ugly. Anyways, last character, finally. And as for Rebecca Rabbit herself, well, no one really cares about her. Not two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten either. Not even twenty, a billion, a thousand, a hundred, not even ten gazillion. And this character just has an unhe unhealthy obsession with carrots. I mean, seriously. It's like carrots are her love. It's kind of like 
Mr. Krabs and his money. Mr. Krabs is in love with money. It's kind of like this. Richard, I mean, Rebecca Rabbit's in love with carrots. Which I know rabbits themselves, they love carrots, but she takes her obsession with carrots way too seriously. Anyways, before I say anything else about this show, here's something else I need to address. Um, if you don't, if some people, if some of you people that don't know about this show, and some of the episodes, they say, uh, for a fruit or vegetable, they call it tomato. Tomato? Tomato? I mean, seriously, I know Spongebob said in that one episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, but it was pretty funny that way, because, you know, Spongebob made it in a funny way, but this show just takes it too seriously. It's like, this show takes everything too seriously. They just be stupid and say something like, Daddy, can we get some tomatoes, please? And his dad's not, he, he's not even like, Peppa, it's called tomatoes, not tomatoes. He just says like, okay, we can get them. Seriously, it's like, they don't understand their language. Imagine if they do the same thing with potato, they just say potato instead. What is wrong with these characters? Anyways, thank goodness this show got cancelled. But, as I heard from my one of my YouTube friends, Brendan Barney, he says there's going to be another series about this show. What? Why? This show should completely be dead. No more series about this show. No more. You got the Golden Boots one, and I think the Queen one, and I forgot the other one. But, seriously. And here's a quick message to the Peppa Pig writers. We do not need any more series from this show. And another thing before I uh, go to the other things. Um, if you don't know already, a person named John Sparks narrates these episodes. Why? Why does he act all stupid and just say, Oh, okay, I'm going to narrate an episode of Peppa Pig and get $500 every episode. Seriously. And he's not... And he's not just like the Thomas narrators as followed. Ringo Starr, George Carlin, Michael Angelis, Michael Brandon, um, Alec Baldwin, and Mark Morgan. He's not like any of those guys. Which I prefer them over John Flippin' Sparks. Anyways, now to this. The animation's stupid. The songs are annoying. Theme song's annoying. The characters are annoying. And the show itself is just plain dumb. Like I said, thank goodness the show got canceled. I do not know which year, but if you do know, please type it in the comments below. But anyways, yeah, I do not know who likes this show. I can't even... Oh wait, I do. Do you know who likes this show? Mr. Velsky Bum. He wishes he could have all the Peppa Pig DVDs and meet all the Peppa Pig characters and the cast members. But he can't cause, because, you know... Peppa Pig is fake. It's just a flippin' cartoon. But, do you know who hates this show? Mr. Hold on. Mr. Engineering Family. They wish they could... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mr. Vail Skibum and the Engineering Family likes it. Sorry about that. Um, everyone in the world hates Peppa Pig. But anyways, yeah. Mis Sorry if I made a mistake, but Bill Skibum and Mr. Engineering Family likes it. But anyways, yeah. They wish they could go... They wish they could go meet the cast of Peppa Pig too. But no, they're just... They're just a bunch of little five-year-olds who likes Paw Patrol. And by the way, I'm very, like I said, I'm very sorry for making that mistake. Anyways, Peppa Pig stinks. And so does, so does Olivia. SpongeBob SquarePants will be forever times better than Peppa Flippin' Pig. Anyways, end of rant. Next rant. Wonder Pets. And after the Wonder Pets rant, Wow Wow Wubsy, note. This is going to be a double rant on, on Wonder Pets and Wow Wow Whoopsie. So, just trying to let you know that. Anyways, that's it.